Alright ladies and gentlemen, what, what's good guys? It's Batman and we're going to be checking out a new YouTuber. I'm actually going to uh, make sure he's in my notes as well. This way I don't forget about him. We can check out all his videos eventually and react to those. In the meantime, you guys know the vibes. Any Naruto YouTuber that's out there, we're going to check him out and try to slowly but surely get through all their videos and play the catch-up game 24-7 and have a great time either doing some gorgeous debunks or just simply gassing him up and saying, yeah, that was fucking fire. You know what I mean? So you guys already know the vibes. So we're going to get into it. Hope you guys are excited, and I'm just going to check my notes real quick, make sure he's good to go. Yep, he is in here as well, so we're good there. We don't even got to do shit. We're ready, good. We're ready. All right, so we're going to get it. Um, it's a debate. It's only 11 minutes long. I fucking love short debates, and it's a grown adult tries to convince me Kabuto could beat Madara. Now, that's actually a funny title, because if you guys don't know, that's a reference to the Sly Kage video title when he uh, debated Webcam Parrot. And it was literally, uh, basically the title of it, like, a grown man trying to convince me uh, Kagsu beats pain. And it was hilarious, you know what I mean? So I'm assuming it's going to be to some similar regard of that. Um, now, obviously, if this is, like, heavily edited for transparency reasonings, I'm not going to be able to fully dictate who actually won the debate. If it's just a full debate, you know, and no, like, skips and things like that, whatever, um, then I can say for, definitely, safely and for sure who actually won, you know what I mean? Just to be generous to the other guy. Um, but I highly doubt that, you know what I mean? But either way, we'll see what happens. I will still judge what is presented in the video, obviously, and give my thoughts who won, et cetera, you name it. Um, or even just give any further, you know, like advice for what they could do to either substantiate their claims even better or to strengthen it, whatever, et cetera, yada, yada, you know, you name it. But we're going to get it. Let's do it. Local. And today, I'm and you guys also, if you know the vibes, make sure to subscribe to the brother, give him all the love and support, check him out. He does tons of it, tons of videos. I'll make sure, um, you know, fuck it. Well, I'll just show him right now. Um, he's doing his thing, you know, definitely help a brother out, has tons and tons of videos, and like I said, we'll be definitely eventually checking him out, so let's get it. You're talking about Sage Kabuto versus Madara. Uh, with me, I have this dude from my Discord server. By the way, join the Discord server, link in the description. Introduce yourself, my boy. Uh, this is, um, Dolis, I guess I have on YouTube in, uh, Discord. I'm, uh, known as Peach Fuzz the Goon otherwise known as class clown within my server uh he likes kabuto a lot he told me he, he thinks he <laughs> he says class clown bruh he can beat modern we'll see about that so yeah. why does why does sage kabuto beat modern well with edos madara doesn't really have a, a way to seal them necessarily all right so which edos do you have in mind all of them all of them so like hanzo is going to be doing shit Dr granny chio is going to be doing shit is that, um, is that what you well, mean Okay, that would be actually doing stuff. Um, probably like uh, Daedara, Nagato, QB Cloaks from Gink and Kink. And then he has the Suchikage that was... Uh, oh, so it's Madara against all Edos and uh, and just everything. Okay. You know, Noki by himself. Those are kind of the main ones. He would, uh, if he like was able to get close range to... You want to know what's funny? There's literally a couple... Like, there's literally multiple statements where Kabuto himself verbatim just admits... That nobody can fight Madara except for Hashirama or stop him. That includes anybody. All these fucking Edos. Every single one of these motherfuckers, okay? And also, Kabuto even says this is his most powerful weapon out of all of them. There's even that statement as well. Like, Madara is just built different, bro. Like, all these fodder-ass little ants are nothing in compared to him. Completely dishonest. Tons of narrative evidence as well and implications. Tons of great statements, even feats as well, etc. Like, it's just incredible that this man actually blatantly believes Madara would lose to these motherfuckers. Incredible to me. But anyways. Uh, the Madara, like if Madara ever just got like cocky, got out of his perfect Susanoo, he'd just like um, whip out a, a White Rage or a Sage Amp Genjutsu and just like pretty much uh, neg him with that. Is, uh, is Kabuto like relative to Edo Hashirama you know, by any chance? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna be uh, able with to Edos? take that modder then. With Edos? Yeah, with Edos, yeah. WITH EDOS?! <laughs> YO! <laughs> he just baited him, bro, and he fell for it miserably. He said, well, would Kabuto be relative to Edo Hashirama, bro? And I kid you not, he said no. He literally concedes and says no, but he says with Edos, yes. Edos doesn't boost your fucking stats, you dumbass. He's gonna get blitzed and killed, and sure, all the Edos are there, but Kabuto's fucking dead, and then now it's just nothing but Edos, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna be really hard to prove that Madara has any ceiling, 
But Madara doesn't have to stay there. He could just go perfect Susano, wipe them all out, and just literally just leave. Like, he doesn't have to even stay there or fight. No matter what, it's retarded. That's kind of like an unfair um, scenario anyways. Because if a character doesn't have any ceiling, what's the point of putting them against any fucking Edos to begin with? But either way, even if that was a hypothetical situation, it doesn't fucking matter. Madara would just wipe them all and then be gone. Or you could just Genjutsu every single fucking one. You know what I mean? Like, shit. You know? Um, but either way, like... Yeah, the, he literally, like, right there and then, it's over. Like, we don't even have to continue. It's over right there. He literally conceded. <laughs> it's, like, very likely that Madara is different from the other Edo Tensei. It's very likely that he's the one with the actual limitless chakra. That's where the statement comes from. Kabuto himself did say that he made Madara a little bit differently from the other Edos. This is, like, very evident when he put, like, Hashirama's fucking DNA it's a fucking moderate's chest yeah so like it's, it's it's very evident that moderate is different from the other edos uh he's never yeah. like really shown a feat of like being uh being out of stamina out of chakra or anything like that so he might actually have like the limitless chakra compared to the other edos so basically the way i see it kabuto has a numbers advantage here right it's gonna be the the edo kage the fucking the akatsuki and uh maybe a, like haku i don't think really anybody else like the the, the jinshuriki aren't gonna be buffed by their uh by their bijus they're not gonna have the v1 or v2 that made them so strong um, against KCM1 and KCM2 Naruto. For, first, out of the way, Obito wasn't scared of the Akatsuki at all. Uh, he yeah. looked straight at them in the eye. Uh, this was Orange Mask Obito before he even had the Renegon. Yep. Uh, he was ready to take down Kabuto. Sounds very familiar, by the way. Uh, what's it called? Whether if it's released before or after, there was a debate. I actually already debated Peach uh, Trash Fuzz. I'll call him not even Peach Fuzz. Trash Fuzz. <laughs> okay, the ass clown that he even he called him in the beginning of the video. Literally, these are already my beginning uh, debates, and I and I literally won all these points. And then uh, the fake wannabe judge, uh, Gios, wanted to get involved and basically say um, that I even also won all those points. And then eventually, as it gets towards uh, the uh, further in the debate in the middle and towards the end, Gios was like on uh, basically on uh, Peach Fuzz's side and blah blah, you name it. Um, he wasn't an actual judge; he just came in there and wanted to just judge the points and give his opinion of who was winning. But either way, and nobody ever agreed on on the judge as well. Uh, Peach Fuzz actually was against Gios of being like an actual legit judge and said he would be biased for me all this shit yada 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 the whole nine it's all like on text and everything you name it I have all that as well but either way long story short these are literally the first beginning arguments I kid you not the literal first beginning arguments and Obito was willing to throw down with Sage Mode Kapito basically now this particular form is technically an incomplete Sage Mode um, like and the reason why because it's kind of hard like he's wearing a hood and he's also has like a bunch of hair. So he is still using Sage Mode. It's an incomplete one. Um, because he has all of Rochimaru's chakra, you name it, etc. And he went to the Richie Cave, you name it, and mastered perfect Sage Mode as, as well. Um, but when you go into the Ita uh, excuse me, into the Itachi fight, he can a instantaneously activate Sage Mode. And basically the, the only different features you see, everything else is the same, except that his horns like are white and base like or his horns like he grows horns basically now it's kind of hard to know if he does have horns or if he's actually in perfect sage mode right now as well we really don't know but what we can say visually wise and for everything all the information we have at our hand it's more than likely an incomplete sage mode and it's not like the perfect form of sage mode um because remember Ochimaru had an incomplete form he went to the cave whatever he kind of had it in a way but he wasn't able to fully control and harness his power it's literally all stated and he was never able to master it. You know what I mean? That's why Kabuto was able to surpass Orochimaru. And Kabuto even just states verbatim that he can never even compare to Orochimaru in this particular state as well. So I would say with everything we have, this particular Kabuto is not the perfect Sage Mode Kabuto. But either way, you know, he's some form of Sage Mode and he's incomplete. Either way, he can instantly get into the transformation, use it, and we see how he performs against Sasuke and Tachi, who are also suppressed and holding back as well, and are able to deal with him and eventually uh, immobilize him and, and deal with the Edo Tensei. And just like he's saying, Obito literally just flat out says, if, and if I ref were to refuse, um, things like that, etc. Like, the, the whole fucking nine. I mean, and it was flat out blatantly obvious, narratively implied, etc. The whole nine statements, even the feats, the actions, the context, all of it blatantly substantiates the notion that obito is more stronger than this kabuto and even all the akatsuki there at the same time and literally mind you this kabuto has perfect sage mode he can transform into it at any fucking time if he wanted to fight obito and use sage mode he could easily do that if he needed to you know what i mean just how he fought against itachi and sasuke he could do the same exact thing and go into that perfect sage mode it still wouldn't make a difference the fact that he had to pull out madara in order to make Obito concede the battle and not be willing to fight him or kill him anymore because Obito is basically going to kill Kabuto for context, by the way, because he betrayed the uh, the Akatsuki. Um, 
overall, that's kind of what you're working with. You know what I mean? So either way, it's blatantly obvious. And then it gets worse with Renegon and Obito. We obviously know Renegon Obito is more powerful. He gets the Renegon. He literally states why he needs it. He needs to get it more power and be more prepared for the war, etc. He's more powerful, and he literally just completely flexes on, on the same Kabuto and says, I'll fucking kill you, blah, blah, etc. Once again, plenty of narrative emphasis that he is above Kabuto and everything. Um, and then when you further analyze it, it gets even worse for Kabuto. We literally, while Obito is nerfed, to remind you, he's not an Edo, so he doesn't have unlimited chakra, and he's not a full power 24-7. While he's nerfed, this motherfucker is fighting against KCM2 Naruto, KCM1 Naruto, Kakashi, Guy, etc. All these motherfuckers, uh, literally on a similar level to Madara as well. It's stated in the data books as well, by the way. And he literally has feats as well to be on the same exact level as Edo Madara, Okay. Like, I don't know what more you need. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, come on, you know? So, the fact that Obito is even within that level of power with Edo Madara, okay? He would absolutely wipe the floor with fucking Sage Kabuto. I don't think it would be, like, a necessarily, like, an instant speed blitz. Like, you could, you, could, you could argue that technically because he does skill that fucking high and he's within Madara's power. You know what I mean? But if you want to be generous to Kabuto, let's say, like, this fight was actually illustrated by Kishimoto and written out... It, Kabuto will probably be like in a way where you can kind of like react in a sense whatever blah blah but he just can't fucking do anything and then eventually he gets killed either calmly or soul grab whatever the fucking case may be you know what I mean or ghetto set who knows you know so overall that's just kind of what you're working with but I'm gonna let this kind of play out and I'll, I'll stop it unless there's actually something really really that I need to uh, speak upon or, or bring upon or whatever but so far Loke is doing an incredible job Loco is doing very good uh, the other guy he's ass just how he got slammed by me in the debate Getting slammed by Loco. You could say that he was all that. You could say that he was buffing. You could say that he was buffing, but that like that's not exactly proven in the series. Uh, what we yeah. are shown is that whenever Madara comes out, that's when he gets scared. And yep. obviously, Kabuto realizes that Madara is the real threat on the battlefield. Exactly. Well, you know, Obito kind of respected Itachi when he was alive and sick. So taking on Itachi, Nagato, Stage Kabuto. Well, that's another thing. Uh, Trash Fuzz knows what he's doing as well. He's just being a troll. I'm just putting that out there too. Like, it's all within his character, his tone, his voice, how he sounds, whatever. He's not dead ass. He's literally just trolling and being a dishonest rat. For Obito to just kind of be like a, kind of like a dumbass and just underestimate everyone. He'd just be like, I can take anyone on. I can take on Conan. gets fucked up. Uh, I'll just hold back against Minato, you know, gets Rasengan to the back. I don't know if uh, Obito is the most re re reliable to scale off of uh, his confidence. He did. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Fucking Scooby-Doo. No, because, because the, the moment that Madara came out, Obito shit his pants. That that wasn't the case with the Akasi. He could have been bluffing with the Akasi, but the fact remains Wait, that whenever Madara came out, whenever Madara came out, he was shit his pants. Itachi might be the one to solo Madara here, right? He does have the Tosuke Blade and he does have Sukiyomi. I do believe Sukiyomi would get nagged by the Renegon. Uh, obviously, Madara has higher Dojutsu and... Uh, Great he facts. Also have EMS, so he has like two levels above Itachi. Uh, Sukiyomi probably facts. Probably gets neg. Uh, the the Renegon is shown to be able to neg Genjutsu of uh, equal to or lower rank. Uh, yeah. Shown when Sasuke was able to tank the infinite Sukiyomi. So uh, like yep. normal Sukiyomi ain't doing shit to Madara. The Tosuke Blade probably isn't touching him. The Tosuke Blade doesn't really have uh, any speed feats higher than fucking like a uh, uh, Hydra, Orochimaru, and uh, and Nagato, and of course Madara scales above both of them, uh, being able to react to KCM2 Naruto point blank. So, yep. um, I really don't think that the Tosco Blade is going to be doing much. Amaterasu... I also, I also brought up all these uh, points as well in the debate, and just goes co like completely out the window. Better yet, it was so bad to the point where uh, Trash Fuzz literally leaves the debate, which is breaking dialectic, and you're not supposed to leave debates. He leaves the debate after me getting the scans for Edo Madara, KCM2, all that shit, whatever, that chain scaling, and literally fucking, like, leaves. And so, technically, by debate rules in default he literally lost in that regard too but eventually like he does like respond in like with text or whatever it says like some ratty ass sophist like claims or whatever and he still didn't like even engage or, or debunk any of the fucking scans and feats that i provided to him and the reasoning but it was also in the recording i explained it all but either way like all this shit that he's bringing up literally is what i brought up like <laughs> like no matter what fuzz is a, is a fucking idiot i'm sorry trash fuzz he's just he's so buck he's the the I wouldn't say the worst. Weeb, he's a special level of stupidity. Weeb is definitely the worst Naruto debater. Then it would be Gil. Then it would be Trash Fuzz. Those three are just in a special family tree. Why is KCM2 Naruto that much faster than like KCM1 Naruto or B though? I, think, I, I definitely think Itachi's faster than Madara. Madara is barely... <laughs> Oh, man. He to him in midair and then he still got blamed by KCM2 Naruto. Barely. He, he fucked yes. him up. 
he, he put that fan up no difficulty. Like, so. Well, for a fact, baby EMS is below KCM2, and KCM2 was... I, I don't know that. I actually, actually, I don't know about that, because that was early KCM2 Naruto, and that was like 50 chapters before EMS Sasuke showed up and outsped MKCM1 Naruto. Why would MKCM be faster than KCM2? That's early KCM2 Naruto, and I don't even think KCM2 Naruto is that much faster than KCM1 Naruto. Early yeah, and I'm just going to do a quick debunk for that. It's the most retarded claim to ever make. So, once again... It's literally a state of verbatim that with the cloaks, that with KCM2, when he does that, he's gaining way more access to way more chakra for Kuruma, and they're having a perfect sync and bond, like a perfect re residence and fusion to where his like true power and form comes out, you know what I mean? And all his stats are, are crazy, like amplified to a very high regard to the point where now he can be able to combat against people like Edo Madara and uh, Renegade Obido way better and actually have a chance, okay? Literally, he finally gets to that level and gap of power. While KCM1, he's just he just can't hang. You know what I mean? Like he's trying whatever he's he's doing whatever he can, but he just can't fucking do it. You know what I mean? It's blatantly obvious. It's narratively emphasized. You literally see it from uh, KCM1 Naruto, all the stuff that's happening with him and the with the V2 Tail Beast full transformation, etc. Then you literally see like when they all go full transformation and and Naruto's like shitting his pants. Everyone's shitting their pants, and Naruto has to go to KCM2, and then is able to kick all the Tail Beast bomb like they're fucking tennis balls. And literally, it's, it's his speed is referenced, his power, all that shit. Then goes into the Avatar form and literally bullies the fuck out of all the Tail Beasts. It is blatantly crystal clear that KCM2 is way more powerful than KCM1 and way more faster. Trash Fuzz is just, once again, a dishonest, sophist rat and an idiot. KCM2 Naruto is that... He said KCM2 might be slower than why do you laugh like oh this? Oh my god. Would that man was laughing like goofy, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Against Madara, he's like seeing this huge, Hell no. freaking perfect Susano. He's gonna be like, oh, this is perfect for my strongest jutsu, and I can, I can just regrow my C0. body. Proof C zero is gonna take out the perfect design. No, but it's but doing. You're saying it does nothing. It's disintegrating mountains, like, like a freaking ten tails. Doesn't Madara's like fucking like armored Susano tank the cataclysm? Come on now. Come on now. In character, I don't believe Dator would use it. He already said it himself. He's not going to use that again because he believes that, like, art shouldn't be done more than once or whatever. Madara is shown in a weaker form of the Susano, not even the perfect Susano, to be able to tank uh, the, uh, the Jubi Cataclysm. Your fucking C0 is, like, yeah. what, mountain level? Isn't it scaled to only be, like, a couple kilometers? Come on now. It, like, it literally is relative to a Jubi, Ten Tails Jubi Blast, like, three-fourths of the size. So what happens when Madara absorbs it with the Renegon? Let's say Madara uh, pulls up on Zabza. And he tries to like stab Zabuza or something, and then Haku attempts to blitz in front of him. Doesn't matter, just seal him right there with the Renegon. If you think the Raikage is light speed, KCM1 Naruto outspeeds the Raikage. Yeah, actually, I, actually, I totally forgot about this. Um, Madara doesn't even need to know sealing. He could just rip out their souls with the Renegon. I totally forgot about that. So, there you go. Edos are not a problem. You just speed blitz, soul grab, soul grab, soul grab. It's faster than KCM1, and KCM2 gets like fucking reacted to and blocked by Madara, then Madara's light speed, he'd be able to outspeed Haku. Like, yep. Yagato is not even like a, a fucking factor in this fight, especially when he's in, in his white hair form. Um, uh, you can just be given chakra. Like, if, if it's really. Now, to be formed, obviously the editing is for a comical scenario as well, and just to show like how dumb Trash Fuzz is and how superior Loke, Loco is to him. Um, so, no matter what, with overall everything that's being presented and the refutations or kind of arguments that Trash Fuzz is at least trying to attempt to do in order to beat his arguments, and he's utterly fa failing. Once again, 100%, this is like literally a no diff. I'm not even lying. Literally a fucking no diff of a win for Loco. It's that fucking simple. Um, and now, to be fair for Trash Fuzz, clearly the whole entire thing's not fully in here. So for transparency reasoning, I can't necessarily say 100% that Loco won. But I guarantee you I could bet a million fucking dollars if Loco and him were to debate one more time that Pete, uh, Trash Fuzz would literally get slammed. I'm not even joking. So, no matter what, it is what it is, but from what at least has been presented so far, definitely Loco all day, every day. That's not in character he's for like Kabuto in or Nagato. That's not in character for Kabuto. But, uh, Kabuto, he never, he's never used the Renegon before and used it, frankly, better than anybody else has ever used the Renegon. <laughs> what? Yeah, he <laughs> used the Renegon Kabuto better than anybody else has ever used the Renegon. Oh, Lord, what a fucking weirdo. Literally. And he's above fucking Itachi, which I've already proved. No, he doesn't. Oh my god. Kabuto states Itachi scales above Edo Madara. What? When the fuck does he say? Oh my god. He calls him his best Edo Tensei. His finest Edo Tensei. That's obviously fucking false because he goes up to Madara and he's like, yeah, I I, I created... Hold on, let me... Let me, fuck... let me fucking find this scan. You're pissing me off. 
<laughs> his shield is stated to be impenetrable. I told you he's trolling though. You hear how he's laughing, whatever. He's doing it on purpose. He doesn't care about transparency. He has no integrity. He, you know, he's a fucking immature weirdo. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody has the patience with this nowadays. Nobody finds it funny at all. Like if you're trying to like troll like a ding dong, or if you're trying to at least like do it for entertainment comical purposes, and you and and you don't actually believe in that, but you're just doing it for like entertainment for a debate or whatever the case may be. If there's some type of context like that. Then it's understandable. But if you're just blatantly, this is all you're doing all day, every day, and just rat, trying to rat your ass off, nobody cares. Nobody is laughing. Nobody gives a fuck. It's just retarded. You can literally hear in his voice, Loco is getting actually really pissed off. Like, it's not funny. You know what I mean? Like, it's, if you're being dead ass or trolling or just continuing to go on and on, nobody gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, nobody gives a fuck, bro. <laughs> like, we really don't care. So it's form to fit any um like however he wants bro it literally let me get the statement matter. it's stated uh so all right well like moderate 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 susano is stated to be able to destroy all things in the universe fuck off does it really state that yeah moderate says that wait can you Mo moderate's like oh yeah this, this, really thing is, this thing is above the bijou yeah, it's like this susano can destroy all things in the universe it's, really it's, literally, it's literally right after he pulls out the susano the perfect susano moderate is like the cockiest person i've ever heard but that doesn't mean he's lying <laughs> it doesn't, um, <laughs> I guess it does right. destroy everything we see it. Oh, let me, let me just make this clear. So you think that, uh, Itachi Susano with the Automator can tank a swing from the perfect system? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't take it. It makes it meaningless. Define, define that. It makes, oh, it makes any physical, um, not even physical. It makes any attacks meaningless per uh, data book statement. You so that answer, would mean, you like, didn't answer my question. Do you think that Itachi Susano with the Automator is tanking the, a swing from the perfect Susano? It's not tanking, it's making it meaningless. So it wouldn't need to tank it. It would just, it would just make it meaningless. When has it ever made an, an attack meaningless before? The, literally, the Yadimir is only... So, is like uh, so literally, Loke is basically... Uh, not Loke, I keep saying Loke. Loco is saying is the Yadimir is not invulnerable to physics, the laws of physics, or force and power and whatnot. We literally see with Orochimaru's Hydra, he's actually bringing it up, so he's probably actually going to say it, to where it's getting pushed back. So if Orochimaru's Hydra transformation, which is basically his next level of power, like Jiraiya's base to Sage Mode, is able to push the Yadamir back. Imagine if Madara takes his fucking sword and just swings that bitch. Not, not even just hitting it, just swinging it with the force and power. Do you think uh, Itachi is going to survive even the impact of force? Like maybe, okay, maybe you could argue that. But he probably doesn't, right? But if Madara's sword hits the ground right next to him, or even hits the shield... From the force and impact of him moving the recoil, you name it, that, there's no fucking way Itachi's, like, surviving that shit. Like, he would need to have the Totsuka Blade completely enveloped all around his Susano. But it's only a shield, and it's directly in front. And think about it in real life. If you hit a, if you hit a shield, like, let's say I'm holding a shield and you hit mine, my, I'm still gonna move back, right? If you do enough force, sure, it can be able to, like, negate the attack in a way, or, like, or deal with it. And give you that sense of vulnerability, but you're not going to be able to negate the force and physics of the attack. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure that's what Loco is basically going to say and easily do. You know, blocking the eight-headed Hydra hit. It made them meaningless because they just like died. <laughs> it's in the so head. stupid. <laughs> that's gonna uh, be the, the funniest shit ever. <laughs> so, what do the Edo Tenseis do against Tenga? I should say. Um, are those the two meteors? Yeah. Um, so the the Sushi Kage would just um. Hit it with the particle style. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta stop you right there, buddy. Onoki would have done that if he, if he was like Onoki yeah. was like scaling directly to Mu. Literally, and, um, he would have if, if no to Mu. Their particle style clashes. Mu kind of smacks him up. No, their particle style literally. No, yeah, up. they fight each other and it's equal. You fucking oh my god. I'm sorry, but like uh, I'm not even lying. Yeah, he's uh, trash fuzz is definitely part of the fucking family tree for Weeping Gill. It, it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. I'm not even joking. Like he's so he just he's just dumb. <laughs> he's he's gone, bro. He's just absolutely gone. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. It, it's it's bad. It's fucking bad. Uh, like title of the video, Loco slamming the third worst Naruto debater, aka Peach Fuzz. On God. Oh. Dater is just gonna blow them both up. Dater is gonna blow both of them up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Or right. Ginkaku and Ginkaku are shooting a bunch of Bichu bombs. Wait, yeah. every, wait what? Every, everybody and their mom tanked out those meteors. You know what? Fuck that. They're, they're tanking those meteors. Who tanked that meteor? Gara Sand. Onoki just straight up ate it. He just ate it. He just straight up 
ate that meteor. Two meteors, he ate them. Hell nah, bro. That motherfucker was on the ground. Everybody else was dead. Literally everyone else. Yo, was yeah, like this motherfucker. He's just digging his grave, bro. <laughs> Look at Anoki. Look at him. He's gone. He's almost to the afterlife, bro. Like that man needs CPR or fucking or chest compressions. Come on. Uh, like, my God. Because he's diamond morph tanking the the tank. I should say. Both of them. <laughs> no, not even diamond morph. His plain body was able to tank a Ross and Shuriken. <laughs> what? Bro, that, he died. He died like yeah, right he after. Had, he had one heart left. Kakashi literally just finished him off. He wanted to be the one to finish him off and do like a little quip on his ass. Literally, he did like a a finish. Kakashi lost dead. He had three hearts left. He lost two fucking hearts. Two. <laughs> fucking Call of Duty, bro. You know what it is, Negano? Wood style. <laughs> fucking uh, no, deforest emergency. No, base Naruto, you know damn well base Naruto was countering. And you know damn well base Naruto was being amped by the QB at that point. Literally, Kuruma gave Naruto I, I like Lo to Loco. Uh, uh, he's a funny guy, bro, and he clearly knows his shit, and he he seems very intelligent as well with Naruto. Um, but like, <laughs> he's funny, bro. Uh, I, I I'm surprised I never knew about him. Use that fucking underrated Sengon barrage. It's always the underrated yeah, well, ones. combined particle style Kakuzu. You know, Shinra Tensei, <laughs> I Daedra. I, I, I don't even know why you're bringing up Kakuzu in this. Like, he's, he's a non-factor. He does, he does something. <laughs> does he, he does nothing! Does I don't think he spawns in with hearts. He, um... He, yeah, he does rip Madara's out. Madara doesn't have a heart, dips. He probably rips Madara's heart out. I don't understand how Loco had the patience to really engage with this like I'm, I'm gonna say this I, actually i know how he, he found a diamond in his hand okay but he realized it was fake right and what i mean by that is this is beautiful comedy entertainment content right here this is dead ass what you what you call a low tier debater and a aka a severe rat and sophist type debater this is golden content imagine being able to expose this level of stupidity <laughs> Dude, he's Edo Tensei. Uh, he would, um... That boy, no, that boy Kakuzu is not doing shit. He does, because uh, they were fighting the hearts now that I remember. He definitely does. He pulled those hearts out of the people on the battlefield. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, this is really fucking funny, right? This man Kakuzu's ass. Oh, oh and then he admits I Kakuzu's do. ass, bro. <laughs> we forgot about this. I haven't even brought this up And yet. see, yeah. that, that's how you know he doesn't even know Naruto, doesn't even pay attention, and he's clearly riding whatever, etc. And just tries to be argu very argumentative and try to somehow convey his point in a way and be persuasive of it. And, like, like he's like, are you serious? Damn, Kakuzu's ass. Like, come on, bro. Like, he once again, he's not being dead. He's literally trolling, and he's just being a fucking clown. He wants the attention. You know, it's been 50 and, and point of advice, if you want this shit to ever end, just don't pay them any attention and either force them to debate it so they can look like a retard and then just go from there or literally ban them and just completely ignore them and kick them. That's it. Simple. Because no matter what, they want the attention. They seek it. They they, they strive for that shit. They, 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 they the fucking drools coming out of their mouth. They're it's foaming out. You name it. Like they want that shit, bro. You know, now me personally, I don't mind it because they're an idiot and that gives me content, obviously, fuck it. You know what I mean? I'll expose them, whatever. As long as they're willing to debate and actually argue their stupidity. If not, then I just fucking ban them and kick them. Like, I don't, I don't put up with it. You know what I mean? So, you know, <laughs> it's funny. Minutes, and I haven't even brought this up yet. So what is Kabuto doing? An hour. Yeah, look at that. It was an hour long. Because that's another thing. If you're ever debating an idiot or a sophist or a rat debater to where you have to engage every single fucking irrelevant thing or this, that, or just deal with blatant stupidity, right? And... Basically, where a debate, if you have two competent debaters, it would normally take like probably 30 minutes, bare minimum, or 20 minutes. But then if you have an idiot or someone that's extremely complicated, etc., that shit's going to take like an hour or something or two hours or maybe even four fucking hours because that's how dumb they are, you know? Close that can all use uh, Susana. Please tell me right now. Well, you see, in the five Kage, um, we're actually able to take out those wood, uh, wood clones. So <laughs> if there's people, there's people, more than five people are scaled to the Kage, they would just be able to handle it. And uh, he, would just, he would just chill behind uh, Itachi and then... They will just all handle them. <laughs> he just he just pulls out all these twenty five clones. Crazy. Shit. Maybe like can't hear what's like happening, 30, but it doesn't even bother me because at the end of the day, I highly doubt it's even relevant. I know you guys can still hear it though. Beats so. up the low tiers. <laughs> go straight for Kabuto's throat. Game, like fucking game over. End of story. Kabuto would genjutsu the the wood clones or hit them with the white rage. And then oh, how would he even know which one is the real mother? How would he even know? He can't sense. He just, he's not the one shooting Madara. He would hit them with inorganic animation from under their feet. He's not. He's not. He's not breaking the Susanoo. He's not breaking Madara. No, it's from under their feet. 
They're they have legs too, Snows, my boy. They're like they're like fucking fifty feet in the air. Um. <laughs> he said, um. And then pop up. Yeah, like put, he he's gonna pussy out. He's gonna leave the battlefield. He's gonna he's dead. No, dead he's gonna just go underground and come back up. He's dead. He's gonna retreat. When, when he's underground, Modder's gonna go up, steal the souls of everybody, steal them or whatever. I don't really care. He's gonna do well, whatever be, he needs be, to do. He can use uh, Comets, Comets, Comets too. I wouldn't know which one to go for. Well, once he starts stealing souls, he would. <laughs> the Wood Clones can probably use the Renegon Jutsu as well. If they can use, like, other Ocular Jutsu. Like, yeah, that's another thing. Modder can literally summon, like, so many fucking Wood Clones, bro. So many. He literally did five Wood Clones to each Kage and said, and he literally like flexes and asks them, do you want these clones to use Susano or not? Like dead ass says like, you motherfuckers are fodder to me. Get better, get on my level, you know? Like, so imagine that, okay? Imagine that, you have the all five Kage, right? Do the math, okay? That's 15 fucking wood clones combined that can also use perfect Susano. That's insane, insane. Then they can probably use Renegon abilities as well. I'm not even a Modder fan, and I've been able to wank him for this fucking long, dude. Come on. Hey, come on, there's literally nothing that Kabuto does to him. He's getting pretty packed up, though. He's close range. <laughs> you haven't proved that, bro. He has better Taijutsu than literally anyone on the other field. Like, it's a, it's close. Depends. Telling you, bro. Telling you. No matter what, bro, it is that simple. Like, that, that shit was golden. I, I'm, I'm gonna definitely like that video. It was very, very good. Absolutely hilarious. Once again, shout out to Loco. Um, great, great video. Comical, entertaining. Just further proves and shows how idiotic fucking uh, Trash Fuzz is. And now it completely all makes sense why he was even banned from my server to begin with. <laughs> like, if anything, I actually might unban him just to get more content and literally just slam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why not? I might as well get a video of myself. But, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. What do you think overall is that as well? And I actually already debated Trash Fuzz um, recently, so that will actually be shown as well. Um, it was a very, very weird debate. Um, literally, uh, Gios, like, for one, he was never even a judge or ever agreed upon to be a judge, whatever. He was just supposed to be available to the public for everyone to give their opinions, whatever, etc. in judgment. Um, but he still wanted to, like, give his opinion and judge points. Um, and then, like, I already gave all the other information regarding that. And then literally, there's certain points where Gios is literally debating for me against Loco. And it's like, bro, you're not you're not the fucking debater. Like, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And then eventually he does it for Loco <laughs> and is trying to get an engagement with me. And it's like, no. And then there was even points where Gios wasn't even following and was actually like lost in the fucking sauce and didn't even understand that all the, the scans and feats, argumentation statements that I even provided completely debunks and refutes any of the shit he was even trying to do in the first place like Gios which is I don't know what the fuck was was going on he went he's kind of bipolar he goes from like high tier like I would say low high tier um maybe mid mid if you highball but he goes from around there and then eventually just drops all the way to a fucking like low tier like I don't know what's wrong with Gios at times but anyways um but either way like that's just kind of what you're working with and it was a very weird debate so it was very long because it was basically three debaters in a sense instead of just do okay um, and that's why it was a really you know, annoying and unnecessary debate, if I'm being honest with you. But either way, throughout the whole time, me engaging, giving my arguments, etc., providing all the scans, feats, you name it, elaborating, yada, yada, having to go circular because the idiot can't pay attention or Gios isn't paying attention. Overall, it was it was absolutely hilarious. And you guys will love it. Um, it's really, really good. But it's once again, it's just me basically slamming trash fuzz. Took way more longer than it should have because normally I can be able to do that in about 20 or 30 minutes. Um, but literally, like... Fucking, unfortunately, just that's what happens when you have two ding-dongs. So, um, but either way, um, it was really good. So you guys will eventually see that. But if you see that before this video comes out or you see it after, can't promise that. I have a lot of shit I'm doing right now. And I'm currently going on vacation and going to be gone for about three months. And going to be having some fun in another state and yada yada. So, either way, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Subscribe to the channel. Vibing out. Peace.